What's up everyone? We are on the road up to Silverton, Colorado today to go do a little exploring. Yeah, we've heard a lot of good things about the area and we just kind of wanted to get out and explore a bit. So right now we're pulled over at Molasse Pass, I think that's what it's called, but we're going to go out and take a look at it, bring you along, but come along for the ride today. What's up guys, we just got here to Silverton and got out and are walking around and it's a really cute town here. It reminds us a lot of Deadwood, an old mining town. Deadwood was in uh, South Dakota, but here we're at about, I think, eight or 9,000 feet. Mm -hmm. So the elevation's a big difference and it feels great. The fall leaves are changing. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to just roaming around. So I guess now it is time to try to find something to eat. Yeah, we're super hungry and if we want to do any more exploring, we need to get something in our stomachs. That was an amazing pizza for lunch. It was so, so good. We highly recommend Avalanche if you're in Silverton and you want a bite to eat. We got the Neapolitino pizza with a few modifications, no cheese, add mushrooms, and it was delicious. It was hands down the second best pizza we've had <laughs> since we hit the road. Ever. Yeah, ever. The first the first and the best we've ever had is DeLuca's in Hot Springs. Yeah. So if you're in the Hot Springs area, check that out. But this one was actually a very close very, second. Very, very close. It, it was topped with like a balsamic reduction that was just, ah, mm. and we can't say enough good things about it. All right, since I started running every day, I've been splurging a little more with sugar and we just went into the shop to get some postcards. Ended up with no postcards, but some peanut butter and chocolate fudge, just an eighth of a pound. I'll probably eat it in two sittings. <laughs> left Silverton and we're heading north to scope out the million dollar highway. Yeah, we are on part of it now actually and it lives up to its name. It is beautiful. All the aspens are changing colors. There's pockets of yellow and little bits of orange showing up. It is just gorgeous. And among all the beauty, this road is a slightly dangerous. There are hundreds of feet of drop off, a lot of it with no guardrail. So we haven't taken the RV up here yet. Today is kind of like a tourist day for us, but also a day to scope out this road to see if it's something that we even want to try with the RV. What do you think about it? Um, it's a little windy, but it's not that bad so far. I think we've definitely done steeper grades before. Yeah. Um, so, so far so good. It just depends whether we want to come camp out here or not. We were looking at the temps in the next week and they get pretty low, but it might be a nice change up too. Yeah, there's even a little snow in the forecast. I can't imagine it would be any snow that stuck, so that doesn't really worry me too much, but yeah, it's a completely beautiful area up here. We had to pull over on the side of the road. It was just too beautiful not to. Yeah, we had to get some photos and clips of these beautiful trees. There was like some running water, some flowers. It was just so pretty. 
but we are now finally on our way back to Durango. We got to make it in time for dinner, but this has been a great trip and this road is just, I mean, amazing. Yeah, if you're in this area, definitely take a drive down the highway. It is just gorgeous. It definitely lives up to its name. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you want to see more adventures like this. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.